Hey guys, I got a new video for you today and we're going to be looking at a knife that I just received. This is an open L knife and I've uh, been wanting to pick up one of these knives for quite some time. I just never kind of pulled the trigger on it. They're pretty inexpensive, but I really like the way that they look. They're very minimalistic. So I always kind of add it to the card and then at the last one I just take it out or something like that. And I always told myself, you know, if I buy something, uh, maybe I'm in a, in, a, in a knife website and I'm going to buy a couple knives. I'll just throw one of these in and then I'll pick it up. Well, uh, uh, about a week ago, I received an email from Countycom with their latest releases. If you guys don't know, Countycom is a website that sells all sorts of different really cool items, but they also um, design and make different items for different companies. So if a company wants a particular item made, they can reach out to them and they'll make them. And then sometimes they have a surplus of those items and then they sell it to the consumers. So I got an email and this is one of those items and this is an open L knife that they made for somebody that uh, they made a thousand of them. The company took 500 and they had 500 left to sell to the consumers. So I decided to pick it up just because it's a little bit different than all the other ones that I've normally seen. So let's go ahead and take a look at this one comes in the little plastic baggie here. So um, obviously right off the bat, you can tell that this is not your standard open L knife with the wooden handle. I love the way those look. They look very natural and stuff like that, but this one is completely different. The, this one is actually called the DIY folding knife in organic gray FRN. So this is a fiberglass reinforced nylon handle. So it's gonna be very, very tough. Now I started looking at some of the pictures that they posted on um, the different applications for this knife and stuff like that because obviously you can see it's got a lot going on especially in the handle and stuff like that and from my opinion this is a knife that's geared for somebody that may be working in electricity like an electrician or something like that just because of the blade shape what the blade can do and then the different things on the handle itself now for reference this is a number nine um, open L knife so if you guys know the different sizes and stuff like that that's what this one is not the smallest one it's not the largest one either so again it's got this really really nice gray frn handle uh, i think i i really really like the way that it looks um, especially because it's like this uh, it's like a bluish gray to it but again uh, if you know knives you know open all knives you're gonna immediately know that this is an open L knife, but you're gonna see that it's completely different because of the fact that it doesn't have the, the wood handles. Uh, in the back right here, you do have a little lanyard hole, which is good that they included that because again, this knife does not have a pocket clip. Um, majority of open L knives do not. I don't know if any do, but uh, from the ones that I've seen, they don't. So these are knives that are designed to be carried like in the pocket or in a sheath or something like that. So if you wanna add a, um, a lanyard to that, that'll be really cool. Now, the way that I see it, I would probably be using this like maybe putting it into my EDC bag or if I had like a tackle box or a, um, a tool bag or something like that uh, or a bailout bag this is not something that I would probably carry in my pocket on a regular day as an EDC knife I would just carry this maybe like as a backup knife in a bag or something like that and that's pretty much the way I'm going to be carrying it so let's uh, talk a little bit about the knife itself you have a nail nick here that allows you to open up the blade and there it is so you have an overall length on this knife um, of um, the total length on this is 7.93 inches and again I'm kind of reading the dimensions off the site there so uh, as you guys can see it in my hand here it's a nice size knife again if you do want to carry it for EDC purposes you are able to because you do have a 3.25 inch blade there so again it'll handle uh, the majority of EDC tasks that you want to throw at it. I would say any any light to medium task, it could definitely handle cutting boxes, opening mail, things like that, cutting rope and whatnot. So the way that open um, locks is you actually have this collar here. And if you guys can see right up here, it's kind of like a little bit of a ramp. So what you do is you rotate this collar and now that allows the blade to be locked in place. So it's not going to cut uh, or close down on your fingers as you're using it. So if you want to, you know, put your thumb behind it to uh, kind of give you more pressure stuff like that you are able to do that on the blade itself you do have some markings there again this is the open L plant there and then on the opposite you just have some of the markings that county Com puts on it and then down here you have the serial number again these were a limited run of a thousand 500 went to the company 500 stayed at uh, county Com. so i have number um 888 uh, really cool number there so all of these will be serialized individually so that way uh, it makes it a, again it's exclusive so it makes it a little bit extra cool which is nice uh the blade steel on this is a sandvik 12c 27 stainless steel 
And then again, uh, it has a really interesting blade shape there. I think it uh, definitely lends itself uh, pretty good for the majority of EDC tasks. Again, with the exception of probably piercing because you do have that rounded um, spine right there, rounded top there. So um, a piercing task, not so much, but any uh, cutting, slicing, things like that, it'll definitely do a really good job. Now on the bottom here of the blade, you also see that you have these two little notches cut out. This is perfect for um, if you wanna strip wire or even cut wire. So what you can do is when you loosen the collar there, just put the wire right in the middle there and then just crunch down on it and you can actually cut the wire. Uh, or, you know, if you wanna do cordage or something like that, you have those two little cutouts on the blade there already set. And again, that's why I say that this uh, is more geared towards like an electrician or some, somebody that would be um, taking advantage of those particular types of um, areas on the blade. So as you close the blade, you also have the ability, and again, you see the little ramp right there, to lock it down. So if you have it in a bag, you don't have to worry about it opening up or anything like that. But also because you have a couple other features, and I know you guys see them there, and that's you have these little bits kind of built into the handle there. So you have a Phillips on one side and then a flathead on the other. These actually come with the knife. And, and that's because you can actually use this as a screwdriver. You have this little hole right back here that'll accept those bits and there's a magnet right in there so they don't fall out you have a little bit of an instruction here it just tells you to use your thumb to kind of push the bit forward and then it comes out and you just slide it in there and as you guys can heard that the uh, the magnet kind of attached to it and now you can use this to um, uh, screw and unscrew different things again it's not going to be a heavy duty screwdriver but you know if you need to um, take off a cap from a toy to change the batteries or something like that you can go ahead and do that very easily now these are your standard quarter inch bits so it'll actually fit any bit that you have so if you don't use maybe a flathead you use a torque screw or something like that you can go ahead and replace that with whatever bit you would normally use and then right on the inside there you just see these two little grooves so you just slide the bit right there and then using your thumb you just slide them underneath the grooves and then with pressure it actually holds it in there so they're not going to come out that easy which is really really nice now again this is um obviously a double use tool so you have a cutting tool and then you have a, uh, a tool that you can use uh, different bits to do screwdrivers and things like that. So I think that is really, really cool. Uh, I mentioned the overall length is 7.93 inches and then you have a 3.25 inch um, blade. Now, as far as the weight goes, even though this is, you know, maybe like a medium sized knife, the weight comes in at 2.7 ounces. So it is pretty light, which is really, really nice. So if you um, have open L knives and you're looking for another one, or if you think that this one looks pretty cool, I would definitely recommend that you uh, that you pick one up. Uh, I believe these are on the County Com site uh, for about $27, $28. I think it's $28. So uh, again, it's a little bit more expensive than the standard ones, but you're getting a lot more and it is uh, exclusive and limited. So so you can only get it through County Com, and it's limited to those 500. And it's really cool that they're all serialized as well. So if you guys are interested, I'm going to leave a link below to the County Com site where you guys can pick one up. So there it is. Let me know if you guys have any questions. Thanks.